Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. Patch notes for the title update 1.6.1, they have been released. And what this update includes? Well, the patch sizes, they are anywhere from 1.6 GB to 11.9 GB. Of course, depends on what platform you are on. So, first things first, the new Rune Forge. As we can see, we have pictures of gear and runes and yes you have already might guess this but we can actually forge our own runes based on our current gear unfortunately expansion gears won't be included in this one your settlement has to be level 4 and you need silver in order to make these runes so we can make the runes out of nothing using the perks of the gear that we already have using the perks of the gear we already have not including the expansion gear unfortunately but yeah, this is really fun idea, in my opinion, what you think, let me know in the comments down below. Also, remember to hit the like, hit the sub, so you won't ever miss anything. But let's move on to the main event of this thing, aka the Tombs of the Fallen Part 2. And the most interesting thing about the tombs is the fact the Patsmos are stating there are three mysterious tombs. So, three, we already know where two of the undiscovered tombs are, but the third tomb... Could it be the floor door in the first tomb? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think that is it or not? Or is there one tomb that has not been discovered yet or Odin rune? I will leave my video link of all Odin runes in England in the pinned comment if you want to check them out. There might be chance that we have missed one Odin rune hidden somewhere in England. What you think, let me know, and let's discover everything together tomorrow. And yes, this patch will drop tomorrow, and more rewards like we can see Bearded Axe and Sickle at least from the tombs. Also, 20th of October to 10th of November, we will have the Oscaria 2.0 pack, and as we can see, I think that is a hammer, and also of Lail that we are getting as a reward. Also, I think we are getting another 150 opals from Norwich shop after Oscaria hits live. And hopefully that won't be buggy mess. At least the patch notes are promising us some fixes for Oscaria. Also on 27th of September, aka tomorrow, we are getting some AC15 rewards for free in Ubisoft Connect. So remember to claim those. They are not costing you anything, so why not? Really good news for the players, all the medallions, that will be fixed, well, it should be fixed. Sad news, at least for the Dark Strider, rune duplication, gear duplication, that is gonna be gone. There are a couple different mentions of duplicate runes or duplicate items. If you have duplicated the runes, now is your last chance of doing so, if you want. Also, really good news for the players who are still stuck in the Wrath of the Druids. In the battle fight, that should be fixed, so let me know after the patch. Is everything fixed that is promised or not? I'm keen to see, but also take everything with grain salt. Let's not believe anything until we see that is coming true. Also, remember you can start Tombs of the Fallen at any point after building the Ravenstorp. There is no quest marks, no quest per se. So just find the Odin rune, touch it, and if you are having a hard time of finding those, I will leave everything you need to know in the description box down below. And also my latest recap of the newest locations that will be coming tomorrow into the pinned comment. And yeah, you are seeing this vortex every time you are closing up of new Odin rune or tomb. However you want to say it, Odin rune, tomb, doesn't matter, it is the same thing. Patch notes are mentioning three tombs and I really believe we are having the tombs in the southern part of England and the last one it is in the first tomb underneath the floor door in Manius Sanctum right across of Ravenstorp so what you think I really want to know your opinions in the comments down below that and much more will be find out tomorrow and I will be live streaming this one meaning of course the scarlet fever doesn't take me down so hope to see you there also in my live stream I will be showing how the force will work or we will figure out together how it will work. That and much more like Reddit weekly reset coming tomorrow. So don't miss out anything. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications. I also do daily posts what Reddit is having. And by the way, if you are having a hard time of watching YouTube videos at the same time as you are playing in Manus Sanctum, you are having this huge stone tablet. 
that is also the map and the craters on the tablet they are the locations of the tombs so you're welcome in this exactly the same room we are having the floor door and i believe we are collecting artifacts from the new tombs like we did last time we did get three mysterious artifacts and Eivor was speaking nonsense so perhaps we are placing those artifacts somewhere perhaps on the stone map what you think i mean that is highly possible those craters are looking exactly that they can fit the artifacts in them so that is highly possible that is the way to open the final door because as the patch notes are saying the journey of the tombs of the fallen comes to an epic conclusion in this all new edition so that is word to word from the patch notes and the patch notes will be in the description box down below if you want to check every little thing that is in there you are free to do so but for now i really want to thank my channel members aka the elite wolfpack if you want to join the channel and help the channel get into the next level and getting some custom perks in the process like custom emojis in your reviews in comments in live chat early access to some of my videos consider joining but for now let's roll the outro Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up and bye bye.